those of you who haven't had the chance to forage for wild strawberries, this is about what they look like. There's a creaking tree up there kind of creeping me on. Um, this is about the common size, although you can find some bigger. There's a few out here because it's a really nice patch. Um, it's super exciting to find them bigger, but they're usually maybe like twice that size. I've never found one bigger than that. That's just how wild strawberries are. But the flavor is really good. Like these are so sweet. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So the wild strawberries usually grow in areas like you see here. Um, it's kind of a drier or, or at least very sunny spot. There's, uh, there's still going to be some, um, some water here, but it's a well-drained area. And yeah, they grow in these like dry, open, typically disturbed patches. So anywhere where they remove trees, maybe logging, or for whatever reason, and it created kind of an open field environment, you might get the chance to find wild strawberries. And there's a lot of other berries that follow that pattern too. So if you're getting into berries, be thinking about these types of fields to find them. Here's a wild strawberry right here on a plant. That's a pretty good size one. They usually just kind of pluck off really easily. This one came off nice and easy. Sometimes they don't and you'll squish them and then I guess you can just eat it. <laughs> so these are what the strawberry leaves look like, the wild strawberries. Let me get this plant out of the way and you can see right there the three leaves, a little serrated looking three leaves. And believe it or not, the leaves are also edible. Some leaves taste a little better than others. They do have a little bit of a bitter tinge to them, but learning to pick the right leaves and, uh, you know, preparation is always key for this kind of stuff as well. All right, guys, so I've got that many for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes of picking now. So you can see it's a labor of love, <laughs> but these are really, what? Oh my gosh, guys, so <laughs> I was just talking to you guys and I, a, a bear just like ran right past me. It was so crazy, it was like at a distance, but I mean, I have bear spray and everything, but it just like went down into the meadow and just ran off. It was so cool to see. Um, Whew, but it scared me there for a second because I didn't know what was going on. But yeah, that was that was cool. So fun in the wilderness today. So I was picking some strawberries. Picking some strawberries. All right. So foraging berries, good practice 101. It was actually spitting. <laughs> So when I eat the berries, sometimes it's helpful to just kind of spit out some of the seeds and we will be helping to plant more berries for the future. Yay! Bound to get berry picking fingers too. So my fingers are dyed red now, but that's just all the fun of berry picking. So that's what your wild strawberry looks like. Pretty low to the ground. The tops, the tops usually just pop right off like that one did. And then you're left with your little strawberry. And as you can see, you have to collect a decent amount in order to make any sort of appreciable food. But if you're patient and you're just enjoying the wild, you can just come out and pick a few. They're nice on a hike to just pick a few. Um, and it's just a nice little family activity to do. Just picking wild strawberries. And that can be your labor for the day and getting food. So that makes it really enjoyable. Especially when you have the lovely mountain scenery around as well and some wildlife because they always like the berries too so we get to see bears and moose and all kinds of animals in these types of environments so it's a lovely way to spend the day